CWTFB Radio. It's the CWTFB Radio. <laughs> I am your host, Charlie Machine, alongside this big headed chick right here, Chanel Chante. <laughs> this loud mouth ass nigga catch no motherfucking money. It's episode 110, man. We at Exposed TV Studios. Shout out to all viewership. Uh, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Y'all niggas don't even know what the fuck just happened right now. It don't matter. We're going to keep it rolling, man. Um, all of us are, 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 are social media following. Shout out to y'all, man. We keep growing week over week over week over week. Um, this is episode 110. 110. We, um, 110. We, we, got, we got a lot of shit to cover. Yeah. Right? Um, let's get into the black first. Because it's still Black History Month. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, Chanel, what you got? Fantasia. Fantasia is playing <laughs> Sealy in the color purple. <laughs> this shit is so scripted. <laughs> I can't think of it. I can't even do it with a straight face. <laughs> Fantasia's not ugly enough. <laughs> Hey, yo, man. I'm sorry. Look, it's not the we, same. We but. went we went through some shit. We we didn't hit record. We talked for 15 minutes without recording. I don't really want to repeat all of that shit. It's fucked up. Fantasia's gonna be playing silly, color purple. She is, she is. And I think it's really dope. We, we um, I still don't like remakes. I like the Lion remake. King. Y'all like the Lion King remake? You talking about the, 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 the like fake the live action Lion King? Nigga, it was a remake. Did you like it? I liked it. I like that was Beyonce same, was in it. It was the same film. You like anything Beyonce I does. I do. Oh my God. But it was the same idol. film. It was the she same story. She could have been selling toilet paper, like literally and taking I'm buying all shit, of it. Diarrhea. I, look, <laughs> she's like, yo, this is what I use. <laughs> I don't I don't like remakes that try to change the, the 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 story you know what i mean like as long as the story is the same then i'm okay with it you know what i mean Just, the color purple is a solid story like that's a that's a very good story absolutely so you don't care for how how biographies are told like because like biography uh, biographies will get made over and over in different ways right so it, it all depends on who's spinning the like story. Like the next Malcolm X movie, like how we really gonna feel. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody gonna top Denzel's performance. You see, on that. there you nah, go. You already shutting it not. down. You already shutting it down. But you not shutting down Whoopi. The fuck is wrong with y'all? But <laughs> what's wrong with y'all, bro? Well, like that's 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 the problem. I think it's different. You see, it's, it's different, different, bro. It's very different. The facts still remain the same, so that's what's important. Now, was the color purple a true story? Ooh, I don't know. I think that's, but that that's what I mean about it. Not I think being it was. Same. I heard Twelve Years a Slave was a true story. That shit's crazy. That's a solid movie. Because <laughs> Malcolm X was a real person. He was a real activist. He was a real powerful guy. So for you know, what I mean, that that <laughs> that performance that Denzel put on for that shit was was it. You know what I mean? Like that was that was the joint. That's the Malcolm X I know. Yeah, right. right? It actually is inspired by. I be seeing true pictures oh, of the nigga, and I be like, God damn it, where's Denzel? <laughs> <laughs> so being inspired by a true story and it being an actual story is two different, two different things, things right? Oh, yeah. But it was inspired, it says. Okay. So. so, but that's still gonna be dope, right? No, no I'm excited for that. I, w- I would love to see that. Who's gonna play Suge Avery? Suge Avery. Um, Suge Avery. I heard. I heard. Damn, who the fuck did I hear was playing Suge Avery? I heard some shit. Um, I don't even remember, so I don't want to fuck it up. But that that's a very iconic. You know what I mean? Like role in a movie, especially mm-hmm. a black movie. Um, that that is, is a black ass. You didn't movie. audition for that, Chanel? Get the fuck out! You of didn't. Here. You didn't audition <laughs> for Shug <laughs> A. <laughs> you oh, show yeah. is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, not. I can imagine you saying that to somebody. You could. <laughs> Old Chanel. Hell, yeah. hell no. Not, hell not no. the, yeah, not no. the stone not, holding Chanel. Not Chanel's haunt high. Chanel's haunt high. <laughs> Y'all mad, and I like it. Whatever, everybody mad. <laughs> what else we got? Oh yeah, I did speak about. Uh, you know, I watched Green Book for the first time with Marshall. 
Mar, why can't I say this nigga's name? Marshall Ali. You got a cash moment Mar- right Marshall now. Marshall Ali. He played Don Shirley. Do with that. <laughs> you can't pronounce words. <laughs> I be trying my well, best. It's it's fair to say that the nigga's name is kind of hard to say, right? Like it's not an easy name to pronounce. Marshall Ali, right? Yeah. Call that nigga uh, Gregory. Right. <laughs> 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 you said Greg. <laughs> He's like that shit's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> All right, so he played Dawn Shirley. Um, you know, Green Book. The Green Book was a real thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the, yeah. the uh, whole you know driving through certain places in the country, and like a Green Book was like what identified as the only black motels, hotels that black people could stay at. Right. So that was crazy. I didn't. I didn't know. Yeah, that I didn't really know that shit thing. either, bro. Um, it's just crazy that hit me to that. But just just watching that and seeing like you know what people went through back then, man. Like it, it fucks you up. Cause it, it makes you think, like, damn, like motherfuckers had to be really strong. Oh, back then, bro, man. I would have died quick. Yeah, facts, facts. I, I probably would have been a panther, but would have died quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have signed up. I would have definitely signed panther. up for that. And I was like, y'all got guns, right? <laughs> with the guns, He's like, yo, yo Mewy, I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, but you would have been front line, nigga. Yeah, I, yeah, I died quick, bro. Like, this yeah. one, this one talks too much. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean. <laughs> But yeah, that's how my time would have been in them times. Yeah. I don't know. And we're going to flash forward to some new black shit. Yeah. New black shit going on, Snoop Dogg. Uncle Death Snoop. Row. Mm. Ownership. Death Row. Yes. He manifested that. Yes. Um, we didn't look into exactly the intricacies of how he actually acquired the label. But he mm-hmm. did say on the interview, if he had had fucking Death Row a few years back, he would have had YG. Mm. Ty Dollar Sign. Oh, he mm. said that? Yeah, he was on Million Dollars Worth of Game talking all that. And he was like, I would have had all these West Coast niggas. And I believe that, bro. I because believe he's an well. artist connected to the game. He ain't a schlutzky and schlutzky, bro. It's easy to say that, though, because my thing is like, Snoop could have been started a label. He didn't have to have Death Row per se. Death Him Row. having Death Row is iconic. It's like, just like Def crazy. Jam. It's just like Def Jam. Just like Def Jam. Yeah, but he also worked for Def Jam, right? He, he was like a, a big executive over there as well. So I don't, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's easy to say something like, well, if I had Def Row, I would have had X, Y, and Z. I'm not taking nothing away from Snoop. He's a fucking legend. Snoop is like, the nigga beat a body, nigga, and, and mm. got to rap about it, right? And then they pinned it on his fucking bodyguard, right? So. Damn right, that's what he get paid for. That's an American gangster, right? And, and, he, and he lived to talk about it. In Hollywood. And he has a TV show with Martha Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> Understand what the fuck is going on here. Like, this nigga is really ill. So, like, you know, I, I love that. But, you know, him starting a label could have been at any given point, bro. It could have been through the whole no limit thing, whatever. Um, but I am happy for him, right? Yeah. With, with, with him, good. you know, getting, getting the label. Death Row. You know who was running Death Row before Snoop Dogg? No. White man. Nick Cannon. Wow. <laughs> a lot of niggas ain't know that. Nick, Nick Cannon, Cannon. Nick Cannon's in a lot of shit. He Nick, really is. No, no, no I want. Did, did you hear what I just? Shit. Nick Cannon was running Death Row Records. Yeah, I believe. That. What the fuck was that about? Bro, the Nick, nigga had all his niggas from Wild and Out making diss records to Eminem and shit. That nigga got buku bread, bro. Yeah, he does. And he's fuck smart. the money. And he's the, smart with it. He, and he's no, no. We been, know. We know. He's he been money. there since young. His money long. Since a kid. His money been long. Since a child. He's been. He was on Nick Elodian. And his name is Nick. Mm. Come on, bro. Perfect. He went from thing. fucking getting slimed and all that dumb, silly shit to doing all the shit that he's doing now. He oh, to man. making diss records yeah, with nah. wilding out niggas. <laughs> yeah, he did do that. He did do that. It was a weird play. I don't he know how that, do that even happened. He got um, them. He got them. I want to look battle I, bars. I, I want to look. I want to look more into how Snoop did what he did, but um, he got a new album back on Death Row. I think the, the the timing is perfect. Yes. Um, especially with him going to be doing the halftime show at the Super Bowl mm. alongside Dr. Dre, Kendrick, Mary, Eminem, all those guys. Um, Epic. Yeah. The niggas, the niggas ill. Shout out Uncle Snoop. Yes. Living legend. We love Snoop Dogg. Snoop Doggy Dogg. Um, what else we got? Speaking of being happy for people, Joe Budden. 
Joe Budden reached the 500 mark for his episodes. That has to be talked about. That's hard. 500 episodes. That's hard. That's we, f- we 390 away. I was about to say. <laughs> How long do you guys think it'll take for us to reach 500? Three. Like, well, if, we if, can we do the do math. The, if we do the math correctly. Right. <laughs> we can do the math. I mean, we, we Unless we all die, nigga. <laughs> Come I, on now. Is that negative? I'm that's, just saying. Don't like, say that's, that that's the only thing that will stop us, though. Nigga said, "All of us though, all of us died. <laughs> right. Nigga, like we all get wiped. We'd up. have to be on the same flight somewhere. Yeah. Some shit. Damn, like, what, what is man, that? Like right. that's particular. I'm that's final destination. Zero like, trips with you guys. We all take it. We different routes. <laughs> we already put it into the universe. Nope. Yo, but check it. We gonna get there in time because I feel like it's all about work. Yeah, and that's what he did. He worked to that, bro. They also did two episodes." A week for a very long time. I was gonna say how many oh, he, wow. he, that couldn't have been one a week. Nah, they did they did two episodes a week for a while. I don't oh, remember. Okay. I don't really remember exactly how long they That's did two episodes. A week. I don't know. Are they still doing two episodes a week? I, I don't know. I haven't been following it as of late. But yeah. um, I don't know. But we could get there with the right sponsorship. Yep, Don. With the right sponsorship, <laughs> Don Julio. If you checking in, <laughs> yeah. we always drinking in. You feel me? To the top. You yeah. feel me? We could <laughs> yeah, go. Man. Um, I think it's dope, man. I mean, Joe Bunn is one of the you know people that inspired me to even do a podcast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like podcasting is still very new. Like when you see the the amount of podcasts that's out right now, yeah, it's a lot. But how many of them are actually you know mainstream, right? Like how many podcasts can you think of that you actually listen to on a daily? Mm-hmm. I got like like two or three finance two. ones that I listen to. Um, I got, you know, music podcast. I listen to a million dollars worth of game. Joe Budden podcast, Drink Champs. Um, Drink Champs those man. three. Eight at the table. Eight at the table is cool. Mm-hmm. That's, that, you know, that's a lifestyle podcast. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, what was it the, uh, the kitchen joint with, uh, with, with Mano and uh, Holla Maroc? What's it called? I forget what it's yet. called. Um, but, you know, I, I follow Holla. So, so, I mean, so what I'm saying is, it's still a new lane. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The the room for growth. Like, niggas still don't know how to monetize an hour of talking. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, the fact that this nigga has 500 episodes. That's, that's work. This nigga's episodes be like three hours long sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? How many hours Ooh. is that? You know what I'm saying? So That's dedication. Oh, yeah. That's dedication. Very inspiring. Something what, to look up to. What do you take from that, though? And me? Ooh. Oh, what do I take from that? I don't know. <clears throat> Besides just having a plan, sticking to it and having faith um, and just not stopping. Just mm. keep going until you until you reach wherever you feel you need to go within what you're doing. That's dope. In your craft. Um the manifestation is real because mm-hmm. I mean, imagine if he started and then just flaked and stopped. Yeah. Mm. So you have to have a certain amount of faith yep. in what you're doing and believe in that shit. Exactly. And now look at him. Mm-hmm. Remember when There's he was no more loving hip hop, right? Chasing fans yeah. down, chasing to hear. That nigga was fronting <laughs> fast, nigga. <laughs> white beater on, running down the street, yo, wild, trying to wipe down right. some white kids. And he also was on drugs. Yeah, that too. I mean, yeah. hey, man. So, I mean, like, you got to look at it. Anything like, oh, done in moderation is all you right. Know, yeah, yeah, you got to throw drugs in there like that. <laughs> Why <could've>, not? <laughs> you could have left that out there. <laughs> what, what the fuck? It's fully, there's fully functioning everything. <laughs> nah. <laughs> fully functioning everything. That's a story. But, but him, That's overcoming, a story. him overcoming a dark time is the triumph. Right. Like, That's what I'm saying. Ah, That's that. a story. That's you, an cause, addict. Cause you, well, not only that, bro. Because niggas, niggas be addicts and fucked up in life. Right. You know what I mean? If if you fucked up and you bounce back, that means you you won. You won right. the battle. So so shout out to Joey, man. Yeah, yeah nah, absolutely. Yeah, all right, yeah absolutely. absolutely. I don't like the way he did Rory and Mal, but you know, shout out to shout out to shout out to Joey. Yeah. I want y'all to know right now. I will never I will never fire you guys on air. I was just about oh, to say, on you. air. Well, if if, if I ever if I ever choose to fire you guys, it's gonna be behind closed doors. Yo, you know chill. I mean? All right. <laughs> you can never fire us. Um, I was still all this shit. We ain't even on a contract, <laughs> motherfucker. I was still it all, nigga. We you walking out me, before nigga. you fire us. I'll do this podcast in the storage unit, nigga. 
<laughs> Who's gonna mix it? I mean, Who the fuck. <laughs> Who I fight somebody, nigga. Me? What you talking about? You gonna have to fight me every day for the rest of your life, nigga. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, what else we got? <laughs> um, I I got uh, first off, you want I, my Super Bowl pick? No, not even that. I want to shout out Gold Members Podcast. Mm. Just because I've been seeing what they've been doing. Those guys are fucking hilarious. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Herb Reed. <laughs> you about to fuck uh, their name up. <laughs> uh, well, you know what I mean? I don't want to say his whole government. You know, my, shout out to Herb. Shout out to Todd, man. Uh, Gold Members Podcast. They doing their thing. Go follow them, man. Um, on all platforms. Um, and also, shout out <laughs> to Bad for the Community Podcast. Those motherfuckers got something going over there, man. They out of Brockton. I like um, one of them three kids. You like Nate? Yeah, Nate's yeah. my favorite one. Nate, Nate's other, my guy. I like other, Nate. The other two kids, I don't really care for. I, I, I align with Nate. No. You know what I mean? Dark skin niggas worldwide, you heard? Yeah. Oh, um, he's dark? I, you know I, why don't they put him on camera, bro? Why he Because he, 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 cause, cause he a field nigga. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm with, no, I'm no. Man, at least he working Come hard. On, Not on Black History Month. It's a joke. She can't take shit. Yeah, you know I mean, she's gonna say she's taking it and she's not even mad, and we're mad, and all right, we all mad. Well, yeah, we don't even know what I'm. But this is what say. we this, <laughs> this is what we want to do, right? So anything else we got before the guests, I want to bring it in with the guests. But before we do that, yeah. we have red cups and ratings. Yeah. Oh right? yeah. We have we have two albums that we got to rate. Okay. Right. Um. Which one you want to start with first? Man, you pick. <laughs> Why you let's, upset, let's, let's do let's do let's do um let's do buff the god. All right. So the first album we gonna <laughs> the first red cups and ratings we gonna do is my man Buff the God P O E. That's product of environment. Um, it's a seven track EP. Um, it's about twenty four minutes long. Um, I mean I like the production on it a lot. The production Me was too. really good. Okay, yeah, I like um, that. The mixing yeah. was good. Um, yeah, mixing was good. I feel like you know the the bars were kind of simple. Yeah, it was just plain bagel. Yeah, the bars yeah, were kind of simple. It was just the, the bars are just you know what it is, <laughs> man. Like you know, I like witty shit, man. I like being able to like not see the bars coming. You mm. know what I mean? Like I seen every bar coming, mm. and that's tough for me. You know what I mean? So it was, it was a little plain bagel, but <laughs> he he got words. He know how to he. He know how to use his words yeah. to, you know, make a sound, and I like that. You know what I mean? He definitely got that capability, and he great on a hook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah. he's great on a hook. Now he's good with hooks. He's but good it with was hooks. just, yeah, it wasn't the delivery. It was, it was really just, there was no words for me. There was no real bars for me. Bro. For me, I think it was really just the lack of originality. Like, um, it, it sounded like you know, um, it wasn't like bad sonically. Right, but I just felt like it was. It sounded like something that I heard before. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that's what that's. Yeah, that's what he reminds I mean. me of someone I just can't put my can't finger put you, on. Yeah, right. But I, I can't really either. liked it. Right. I liked the project. I love right. the 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 cover. What did we give it? The artwork. Not the artwork was good. Um, the, the artwork the, was the hard. Was that, good. Artwork um, was hard. The imagery, you know, he he, you know, he's a Dorchester nigga, man. You yeah, know but he's saying? a smart nigga too. So like, you know what I mean? What does Absolutely. that mean? Like the rap is like, you know what I mean? It's he's not. You feel like he didn't display his intelligence. Yeah, like he he could <laughs> he's he was trying to dumb it down and he dumbed it down to the point where it was like this is what they gonna like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where it's like, ah, bro, okay, I can see that. Yeah, you know I mean, can see it's that. like just be smart. If you smart, be smart. But all in all, it wasn't a trash project. No, right? not at no. all. It wasn't trash. Um, so um, all together, as an overall score for Poe. We going to give it, what the hell do we say? <laughs> we going to give it a 2.7 out of five cups. What? Why did I feel like it was higher than that? That's average, you know. That's how 2.7 is average? Well, okay. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's 2.5 is half. Why five. did you feel like it was half, higher than that? Like, that's, I don't know. I'm it's an average on three of us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was okay. 2.7. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good score. But but yeah yeah, yeah. Poe buff the guard. Um, you know what I mean as far as like constructive criticism, I just I just think it's um you know just get you know get in your bag, man. Just you know experiment with different sounds. You know see what see what you like, see what you don't like. Um, you know 
I, I like I said, I don't think he's a bad rapper. I don't mm-hmm. think he's, nah, he's I, think I don't he's... think he sucks or whatever. But like, um, just as far as the project itself, I really liked you know his first joint. Um, but that's in the past. We're not yeah, gonna get there. Yeah, yeah. We, let's move um, on to the next. One. But let's talk about our next joint, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. The I'm next one. Excited. I like this one. <laughs> All about De Niro too. Uh huh. My man Goose De Niro, man. Yeah, I like that project. I like this a lot. I I, I did like this a lot. I, I liked it a whole lot from start to finish. And there's like questions that I have now that I want to ask him just from the content. Yeah, we want to sit down. And I mean, yeah, we, we got to get Goose De Niro up here. We got to talk to him. It's fly trap music, bro. Yeah, fly very trap. very fly trap music. Um, triumphant trap music. Uh huh. Oh seven uh, Lexus is my shit. Um, uh, yeah, this is good records. There's there's shit. good records. It's eleven yeah. records. It's about twenty six minutes long though. For eleven records, twenty six yeah, minutes yeah, is crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. It's um, like low hooks, like yeah, a lot of bars. He had good features on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, fe- he had strong features on mm-hmm. there. He had Dunny. He had Kill. Dunny. He had Kill. He had uh, Body uh, Rock. Body Rock. Um, he had another one. Feel like a god. It was Dundee and who else? Uh, there was somebody else on that one. But um, but either way, um, yeah, that shit was that shit was that shit was good. Look, solid piece of work. It was a solid piece good. of work. I like the imagery because if you know any trappers, you know he represented pretty well on that. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, it was it was um it, it was done tastefully. Yeah, it didn't feel forced. Nah, it didn't feel. It felt very genuine. It felt yeah, very um original, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was, it was, that's what it was. Um, I it like was when him and Kill when, when him and Kill get together. Nah, it, kills it, his yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like when I invited him to do the cipher. Yeah. He was like, only way I'm doing it is if you get Kill up there. Oh, <laughs> I was like, yo, my man, yo, yo, Goose, please, man. Like, he still I, did it though. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> But Shout either, out, man, Goose De Niro, man. Either way, who's coming for us, man? Shout out to Goose, man. Yeah, I like that work a lot, man. So overall, we gave Goose De Niro all about De Niro two a four point three. Yeah, and and, yeah. and that's a very very solid uh, score for that. Um, yo, just keep pumping out work, bro. Mm-hmm. Keep staying true to you, man. We, we we like what you're doing over there, man. For real. What y'all ready to do? Oh, I'm we ready got, for the we guess. Gotta, come yes, on, we're bringing in our guest right now. We got it. This week, we got one of the hottest artists in the city. Yes. You know, somebody who I've literally watched um, just hone her craft. Um, Did it! Just, <laughs> just <laughs> really, just it. really, really embody. You know, I'm nervous. <laughs> who she is as as an artist? Who? Where are the diamonds? <laughs> I hate this nigga so much. <laughs> Somebody who's versatile. You know what I mean? Somebody who stands out mm-hmm. from anybody else trying to do what she does. Because I don't think anybody else does what she does. Not at all. Um, And being from, you know, the family that she represents. And to be, you know, the only woman that's spearheading this mm-hmm. culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Y'all know who the fuck we talking about, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. We talking about the diamond child. The diamond child. Well, I need diamonds. We talking about Shade Bands, baby. You know what I'm saying? Everybody put your hands together, man. You know what I mean? Hi. What's up? What's up? What's up? Did it? 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 Yo, yeah, Shay, what's up, it. baby? Yo, Shay, right. thank, thank you, us. thank you for putting up with our bullshit today. Yeah, Shay, she cold now. I mean, she's mad cold. Oh, man. It's cold as shit in here. For How one, you doing, Shay? I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm happy to be here. I'm in like. I'm glad you're here. No I'm in a great mood. Yes. I've been doing so much, working so hard, and it's like I was. Just, I've been excited to get on here for a Word. minute now. It's been Word. a little bit over a year, so. Word. You was here yeah. episode. We just looked it up. It was episode. No, it was 40 something. Oh, wow. It was episode 44. No, 45. 45. Episode 45. Wow. Side Street Capo. Free Side Street Capo. Free Side Street. Street. When he coming home? Soon. Soon. Right. Real soon. <laughs> That's what niggas always say. Soon. Niggas love the soon. Soon. Very soon. Soon is great. That's not a day of the week though. But um, but but how you feeling, man? You know what I mean? I feel good. I've been I've been doing a lot of work. Um, I'm getting ready to drop my new tape. Been doing a lot of videos. Yeah. 
shit, shows, everything. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that working. Yeah. And it's like, it's a great thing. I'm so proud of myself. I'm not, I came a long ass away from the last time I was here. We're proud of you too. No Thank bullshit. You. No bullshit. <laughs> no bullshit. We, we definitely in your corner. I, I like what you're doing. Um, yes. Shay, I'm nervous. You a star. <laughs> I'm nervous, <laughs> y'all. Hey, I'm star. nervous as shit. You ain't nervous. Nervous with what? We the homies. <laughs> I know y'all the homies. I'm Uncle Chuck. <laughs> old man, old man, I'm old man Stop. Apparently, I don't, I don't support black women. I mean, oh, you're black. Oh my you black, right? Oh man, you black. I'm absolutely. And you're black. all, you're, you're a woman, right? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Do you <laughs> not feel? Do you not check. feel supported? Do you not feel support? You feel supported? I feel very supported. I feel very Chanel, loved. Are you a woman? Are you a black <laughs> the woman? Fuck? And are you black? <laughs> <laughs> Run that back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. I'm, That's I'm not just, even a question. I just, I just, I just wanted to, you yeah, know what I mean? Maybe I'm, I'm fucked I get the up most support from something. you guys. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm just stupid. Most. I'm just fucking oh. brain dead. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Shape pants. What you've been able to do um, in a short period of time is, just, is, is capture, you know what I mean, a, a lot of fans really fast mm-hmm. right um what does that feel like for you it's like sometimes i still can't i still can't believe it like people really be stopping me on the street like yeah. oh my god is that shade bands people like really will run down on me like really tap in with who i am or like just randomly see me on the streets like yo you're that rapper chick right i'd be like Oh shit! <laughs> like, yeah. and you like, be minding your business and shit. I think I'm a normal yeah. civilian yeah. until yeah. like yeah. shit yeah. like that, and I'd be like, "Damn!" Like, I really, I'm so, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. it's a great still, feeling, man. Good. I'm still That's taking dope. it in though. Yeah. I'm still taking it in. It's like, ah, uh, okay, I want to be normal, but this shit don't come with normal. Yeah. It so don't. it don't. I like it though. You know, it's it's cool. It's sweet. I love people that support me. It makes me like want to go harder. So. That's what I that's what I do to keep my foot on their necks anyway. I love that. I love being interactive with people that interact with me. So Well the fame is always gonna come before the money, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think the fame teaches you how to get ready for the money. Right? Absolutely. Because if you're a dickhead with the small amount of fame <laughs> that you have, then then you might scare away the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> so I like that you're embracing it. Thank you. No bullshit. You deserve it. Now this shit's all right. Not gonna lie. <laughs> like with women in fame, they have this this persona of being a bad bitch. Like, do you think being? Do you think you can be a bad bitch and a good woman, or you just got to be a bad bitch and a savage? Mm. Mm. Damn. Mm. I mean, not for nothing. Good question. Because I do identify as a savage. And a bad bitch. <laughs> I also identify as a great woman. Like, because at the end of the day, it's like. Yeah, I have my, you know, traits, mm-hmm. but that doesn't really depict who I am as a as an individual. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know how to go about certain things in life and not to just bring out the bad bitch 24-7. Like, nobody wants to be around somebody who's going to be, like, on demon time 25 eight. All the like, time, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, What's demon time? <laughs> that shit sounds scary. She's like, <laughs> she said, oh, my Demon time. You know the way she said it, she <laughs> put more. Yeah, you know I mean, what's demon time, nigga? Is it scary? Drill time, you know? Oh, drill time. Oh my like, god. I don't get want, into it. I don't want no problem. Bad, bad bitch time. Like, I can't explain it, but but you could be all three: a yeah. bad bitch, a savage, and, and a good a person. Good, exactly, because I'm a great individual. Now, with, with that being said, I don't, I don't mean to cut you off. But yeah. I, I have a really like imperative question. Go ahead. With you having multiple layers to you, you ever been with a nigga that that you felt that he was trying to match your gangster? Mm, just because it was you. <laughs> he was on some... He's You walk in on a nigga, he's in the bathroom like, did it? Did it? <laughs> <laughs> he's looking in the mirror like... He's like, I, I never, got this. Okay, I never <laughs> <laughs> nah, honestly, like I never, first, I never walked in on none of my niggas in there. Like, did it? Did it? He's like, go talk to her right now. Whoa, like Shea Bear's like, nah, make goddamn like, tacos. Um, nah, honestly, like, cause I don't know, niggas I fuck with, they just 
they really they match my they, energy they so i don't get mad i don't get mad at so that you've like, never experienced that like i don't know i can't see a nigga hating on me like if i'm fucking with you and like i don't, okay. I don't get yeah. that niggas is weird old shay I'm just I, know, saying. I know i don't heard some horror stories a lot of about niggas that. hate on me <laughs> just not my niggas yeah. like all right, that's oh, real shit. That's real shit. That's fair. Yeah, like we got the same food for ammo, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you know. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's a gangster, my nigga. Like, like don't, like, don't let me none of this like, cute shit fool you, my nigga. Yo. Reminds me of me. She a terrorist. Mm. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius. I oh, big you go, big you, fash. That's, that's terrorist why. in there. Sagittarius. That's why. Yeah. That we might be the name lot. of this episode. Sagittarius. We get that a lot. Nigga, that's yes. that's just terrorist. <laughs> I like that. Sagittarius. Yeah, we gotta keep that. That's great. <laughs> oh shit! Y'all niggas be hating my shit. Yeah, but y'all be loving my shit. Sagittarius. Like we, we get, we're we get, perfect. Like that. We get something out of nothing. There's nothing wrong with us at all. I don't see anything wrong with us. There's like. What can what can some what what do we do to piss anybody off? You talking about the stars and shit, right? Go ahead, Chanel. What? <laughs> what I'm surrounded Astrology. by Sagittarians. What do y'all do? Oh my god, y'all are stubborn. You think you're stubborn? We taking shots. You can't just you know who I li- You know, I'm stubborn, but so far. But you know, Yo, it's crazy. The only people that I really listen to is like. The people in my circle, like, okay, I'm not gonna be stupid with them because it's like, because it's like they already know, like, like cut the shit, they gonna cut the shit, Shay. I'd be like, all right, all right, yeah. you got that. Y'all are good people, though. No, y'all are good them. people. I love y'all shooters. Y'all are good people. Yeah, I love them. Talking about talking about shooters or sadges? <laughs> Both. I know. Both. <laughs> did it? Did it? <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the shooters. Um, speaking of shooters, man, uh, free KT, free Guacho, mm. damn, free, free side, side street, street. Capo. yes, side absolutely. Street. Ooh, we free, got a surprise. Free Wajizo. Free wa- Oh, yeah, that's right. Free Wajizo. Absolutely. Um, free Hunter Round Cotto. Free Hold my on, brothers, what? yes. Um, now, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we already spoke about you being, you know, the only, you know, female yeah. part of uh, uh, Shooters. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you feel like you've evolved within that role? Since the last time we spoke, episode 45. It's made me a better woman. It's made me a better person, individual. It's made me smarter. It's made me a lot more humble, Um, a lot more grateful. I've been receiving so many blessings since I've been with Shooters, and it's like, it's opened my eyes to a lot of shit. Um, Being around the people that I be around, I learn a lot, you know, because they're older than me, obviously. So it's like being around wise individuals, you become wiser. And thank God, I just turned 21. So wow. I still got a lot of time oh, to go. Fucking shots. <laughs> Baby Shay. <laughs> shots, nigga. I still have a lot of time to go. And just having that boost and having that energy around me and having, you know, the support and advice, it's like, it's going to lead me to become one of not just a great ass artist but a great ass human and being the only girl it's like it's kind of an advantage it is mm, an advantage is. you know a because not only is not only is like i feel protected and supported and loved it's just like you know it's i don't know it's a 50 50 thing i feel i feel like family i feel like i don't have to i don't put a gender on this shit when i'm around yeah. my brothers like yeah it's gang gang yeah, like yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what i'm yeah, saying yeah. like i don't I don't think about being the only girl. I don't think about, in the back of my head, I'm not like, oh, damn, I'm the only bitch here. Like, I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. We, on, we on the same thing. Like, yeah. you know, I like it's, when you it's a family like thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's being the only woman on, like, with a team full of men. Like, is it hard? Because I know I've had my personal experience. I mean. I, you know, there's just being overprotective you probably can't date free cotto <laughs> you probably free cotto. you can't date go for the- around cotto bring nobody around no bullshit i love my brothers they let me date but shit no bullshit they're too funny they'll play around and like act like little security guards in there but you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's right I'm, they gotta do the will smith i'm smith. good like oh i could God. date i could do you know what i'm saying i could do me a little bit they're not you know, they're not, not crazy. Bad. They're not crazy, but they're protective as fuck. What's they, the hardest part about being the only woman on a team full of men? Um, hmm. 
the fact that people think that like because I'm around all these niggas, it's like, oh, she thinks she's gangsta and she thinks she's like mm. on this and on that, and she raps mm. like she drill raps because she's with niggas or she does this and that and the third because of who she's with. No bullshit, dead dogs. I've been like this before. I met my team, and it's like this is this is my environment. We're from we're from the hood. How can how can like we come from the same environment? You can't get mad at me for that. Like right. I'm, a, right. you know, right. I'm a always have my tendencies. There's a lot of females, Roxbury females, Dorchester females, Mattapan females who who got same tendencies as I to as I do. You know what I'm saying? You're speaking we, your truth. Exactly. Yeah, right. yeah. And my right. thing is. I rap about it. Yeah. I rap about it. If you don't like you it, do I don't it well. care. But I do. I do that. And guess what? My advantage is I got my brothers because they do the same shit. We 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 live where we rap, you know. Mm. And we're not ashamed to you know make music about it because at the end of the day, we make great music. Absolutely, yeah. great music. Yeah. You know, it's not like she we're just saying that. whatever. We're putting out quality shit. Mm. Damn, she ain't know how to talk. You you you've been on a press <laughs> run, man. You you you've been you've been on a you've been on a few platforms, um, and I, and I like the way you represent yourself. Um, Thank you. I think you know you you um you kind of came out of a shell, right? Where it's like you kind of blossomed into into shade bands, like the artist. Yeah. Like before you was a rapper, now you a full fledged artist. Yeah. Right. Um. And and I want to talk about. Your music, right? Your music is what helped you get there, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the Diamond Child, yo. Mm. That was your that was that your first like official project? Yes. I, Absolutely. Um, I love the Diamond Child. Yeah. Like, I forget where I was going with my family. We was going to um I wanna say Storyland, some shit, New Hampshire. Yeah. With the kids. A, mm. good, yeah. And um, you know, it's like an hour and some change over or whatever. <laughs> And I'm like, yo, Shea Bands just dropped. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, yo, baby, we gotta listen to this shit. When it dropped? Um, when did when did the Diamond Jobs drop? July 16th. Yeah, because I was telling Chanel, I was like, it was warm outside when that yeah. dropped. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Right? It was um, summertime. Yeah, because I wasn't gonna go no story it now in the winter. It was a beautiful, <laughs> it was a beautiful morning when I dropped that and shit. I was expecting some fucking rap. I was expecting some gangster rap. Nope. Um, mm-hmm. what made you go that route? I think that was I've been had that in mind because I was like explaining to like I was explaining this to Chilla and shit too. I was like, yeah, we're dropping a lot of rap singles and that's good. That's great. You know what I'm saying? But I really do want to showcase like, you know, my actual talent. I don't want people to think I'm just a rapper. And then like, you know, it's cool to be versatile. And with the Diamond Child, when we first started it, we kind of didn't really expect to go the R&B route. It just came together naturally. You know what I'm saying? Like. Um, I love to do R and B music, and the it just it just came together. It was <laughs> it was perfect. Vibe. When I came up with like "Distant" and um, "Wish Me Well" and fucking "One Night mm. in L A," like all those songs came naturally. So when we put it together, I officially decided. I'm like, yo, no bullshit. This is gonna be all R and B. Like this Damn is gonna hard. be showcasing Damn. something different, something crazy, and mm. it's like. I don't think people are gonna expect it. And Nobody. I mean, mani- uh, yeah, nigga, I manifested that into existence because the it. reaction was crazy. We like, thought you was gonna yeah, come out here like demon did it, time is. Did it? <laughs> demon time, nigga. That's demon time right there. Did it? Nigga. Did it? Hear me? <laughs> Hit you with the unexpected, nigga. Yeah, I get it. Oh, you tried. If you had a preference, would you like prefer to make R and B music or she would you sing, prefer to drill man. music? Both. Both. You can't tell me what Not I want. The, niggas can't. The nobody could tell me what I want to want to do. When it comes to this music, I will never be able to make up my mind. One day I wake up and I want to do an R and B drill song. Oh, shit. One day I want to wake up. I want to do a fucking Detroit oh, beat. One day I want to wake up. I want to do straight drill. One day I want to wake up. I want to go straight Summer Walker and start crying on the it. beat. One day I want to act like I'm Lil Durk and put a, make a straight oh, pain song about the streets like I'm the voice shit. of the streets and shit. I got everything, bro. Yes. Demon time. <laughs> uh, it's everything. Orange you drill. Can't, you can't. I'm an artist. You can't label R&D. me. Right. If I had a, if like I had that. a preference, I would have stuck to it. But I really can't decide. I love you doing really everything. You do be painting. I love you doing paint everything. You paint. You paint really well pictures in your songs. Yeah, very talented. Yeah, very. Thank I, you. I, I see it all when you when you do it all. Like so, 
that's what I love the most is being able to see it without a visual. Mm-hmm. So I could see your music, and I love that. But my first experience with the Diamond Child, we driving to New Hampshire. Oh yeah, go back. <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, hold the fuck up, like, yo! I, I hate story He's like, yo, I hate these <laughs> niggas. No, 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 no. This is great. I miss the interruption. Bro. No, no, no. It's <laughs> but I'm looking at my wife, and I'm like, yo, is this what you expected? And she's like, nah, but this shit's hard, mm. yo, right? Mm. Um, I felt like you 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 made yourself vulnerable. You showed like a softer side to shape bands. Um and and I think that was important for your story, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 especially and and I don't want to like put you in a box like as being a woman and shit but like that, but yeah. With your story and how it was coming up and being a part of shooters and things of that nature, nobody expected you to even show a sensitive side to the slightest. But you did that, but you still it was still hard. You know what I'm saying? And um like what was what was the process like for that? Like how long did it take for you to put that together? Um, maybe I would say around a year span to put like wow. all the songs together in total mm, because it was just like time. um yeah, but you yeah. can't rush perfection. Nah, I, I everything you, came I, together I very like smoothly. Though. Um some of the songs I was holding on for like for months, some of the songs I was like recently recorded mm. um at the time. It was just it was just a great experience overall from start to finish because it, it basically sums up my experience with Shooter's music and you know I've grown so much from that from that EP from the recording experience. It taught me how to become um how to become a professional, you know what I'm saying? How mm. to become solid and know what to do, how to record in the studio, how to um shoot videos and not be camera shy or mm. just like a lot of a lot of different things and just learning about yourself as an artist I, I learned a lot of shit about myself since i dropped the diamond child you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like it's became a persona it's, a, it's really something to me now yeah. Yeah, yeah like it means a lot i like that yeah speaking of diamonds papoose um he had a recent interview where he said a woman is the most precious gem. More precious than a diamond. Mm-hmm. More precious than a ruby. Um, he said, fellas, keep your dick in your pants, too. <laughs> Pursue one woman. And, you know, she'll be able to reach her potential. Do you find that to be true? Like, do you think that men should put their all into one woman? That way, in return, she can pour into him? I mean, everybody's situation and experience is different. You she got hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it in her music. Yeah, 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 yeah. She I got said a, she keep two. I got a roster, my <laughs> nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got two star players. <laughs> Yo, that's really what y'all got off the first sentence, bro. No bullshit, really. Crazy. <laughs> nah, nah, not even. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> pass that question. <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't wait. <laughs> Man, listen. Everybody's situation, you know what I'm saying? Experience is different. I'm not gonna, you know. I could be faithful. I could be faithful. If I'm committed and I know for a fact I'm with you, it's like, you know, I'm your girlfriend, you're my nigga type shit. I, I it was hard for you to say that. It was hard for you to say that, that shit. Was painful, She's like, Yo, bro, with your bro. But you Yo. <laughs> But did you see when she said girlfriend? Like, my you girlfriend. <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yo, y'all got my tits cut. It's crazy. Hey, yo. <laughs> no bullshit. But nah, like, if I'm your bitch, you're my man. Like, I, I could be faithful. I could be committed. I'm like 100% down all the way. Like, one thing about. Sagittarius is that <laughs> what we love, no bullshit. Love what we love, we love to be free. We love our freedom. We love adventures. Mm. We do. But when we are a hundred percent like involved with somebody and we know like that's the person we want to fuck with, we love hard as shit. Absolutely. I'm talking, I'll give you everything I got type shit. But um, yeah, everybody, like I said, everybody's situation is different. Mm-hmm. All right. So given everything you got, let's switch to the spicy shit. How many times a week of sex is normal? Wow. 
Um, <laughs> that's, that's not where I thought this was going. That's All right, crazy. I just want to know. I no, because 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 listen, I th- Shabia is into everything. Hey, I'm not. I'm not no bitch. Let's go. Shabia, All right. <laughs> let's go. All like right. how many times? Um, I would say. Don't look at your PR. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all will prove this shit. <laughs> Yo. Nah, I would say like normal couple shit, probably every day of the week. Every wow. day? In a week? Ooh. She's 21. She, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Five no days out the All week. Right. Right. Monday. Let's let's say look, five. It don't gotta be like wow. all the time. Five you can you can save Saturday and Sunday. Five but make days sure it's five days. <laughs> I don't. I got an attitude problem, this bro. Is it's like this is great. You so you think we're having an attitude problem and like tension? The sex is better. Five days is great. Like you could argue and fuck. Like yo, fuck it. Let's just. <laughs> You, you slap got, a nigga. You got a problem. <laughs> Why are you on top? You got a if you're a regular, addiction. if you're a regular civilian, if you're a regular Better civilian, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, nigga. like. <laughs> <laughs> Say man. I'm done. That's not where I wanted the question to go, but it's so well. It went there. <laughs> Whoa. Lee. Now, if you're a normal civilian, you you know you're a regular you're a regular person with a nine to five job and a couple kids. I'll probably say you know what I'm saying, like maybe three. Two times a week. You know Three solid. Yeah, Three's a solid number. Good. But I don't got no kids. That's a realistic I don't number. got no kids. I'm working nine to five and I'm not a regular civilian, so that's true. You yeah, you're famous. You're the dominant child. You're the dominant child. This is this is true. You're the dominant child. Sex. It's on the agenda. No, the fuck I do. Drug, <laughs> sex, and alcohol, right? A week. Ain't that what Rux yeah. I need That's the, tiring. I need the studio. I need music. I need to drop my tape. Mm, I'm okay. not worried about sex. <laughs> That's good. That's a good answer. Yeah, it is. Yeah, she went through media training. Niggas ain't shit out here. This is good. <laughs> niggas this ain't good. shit. This is good. <laughs> niggas is losing the battle. City boys is down. Oh my god. Yeah. Are they though? I Maybe mean, not. yes, y'all Nick are down. Nick got nine kids. So <laughs> yeah. Nelly, right. Nelly and Lil that's Fish that's just dropped. Down. Y'all niggas is losing. Oh, they did. I don't know nothing about what y'all are talking about when it comes to that. So that's neither here nor there. <laughs> City boys down. But I promise you. All the way. So you're talking about if Nelly was trying to hit, you wouldn't let him? No. Fuck out of here, Shay. Come on, Nelly? son. Nelly hot in her? No. It's been a minute since that, bro. First of all, Actually, ne- I guess first, of like, all, first of all, Nelly's like 45. Yeah, I was about to say, I was going to say, old. I was going to say, like, I, I, you know, in comparison to you. cheesy. Lil Fizz, I don't, I don't do like Yeah, I mean, so these, I these, would, these niggas, these niggas. No disrespect to Lysis. They're very just, old you in, know? Com- in comparison yeah. to where you are. So, 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 yeah, yeah. All right, that's fair. Um, but either way, I don't really give a fuck about talking about them nigga shit. Uh, um, uh, what else we got? I guess I'm moving on. Shit out, no. Cash. Yeah, no. you don't got no more. I, I got a lot of questions. I so, swear. Your Tried It video, I love it. I love mm. that song. Thank you. Um, the visuals are great. Visuals are spicy, too. Yeah. So, since we on the topic of spicy, um, do people question your sexuality? Like, because you had the women all in your neck and <laughs> your wow. face. You look comfortable. It looked good. I like it. Wow. But you it wanna... just made me wonder. Like, <laughs> I don't know if y'all um y'all tuned in, but I did this inside the maze interview when I was explaining this story about how this nigga in high school punched me dead in my mm, fucking face because did he didn't that. know whether I was gay or straight. Um, that doesn't make it right, but that's crazy. But that's keep going, cause, wild. cause you know I used to just, cause like you know I used to just like a little, um, I get little it. boy, tomboy, right. comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And I used to get bitches. Period. I don't know. Niggas used to be mad. Whatever. So, <laughs> <laughs> so now like I do get questions about my sexuality. People do ask me, "Am I gay? Am I straight? What am I? Whatever." Like I'd be like, "So what's the bands. answer?" I'm Shea, I'm Shea Bands. Whoa. Big G. Whoa. Is that, is that like LBGTQ and the dollar sign? <laughs> Are we adding the dollar sign? <laughs> LBGTQ currency? <laughs> currency. <laughs> LG. Big G. 
L G Big G whatever T Q. No bullshit. Big G T Q nigga. I like that. <laughs> one day I might pop up with a really pretty bitch. One day I might pop up with a fly ass nigga. Ooh. Who knows? It don't. It don't Do matter. those questions make you uncomfortable? Demon time. No. Okay. Because nah. it's like, why would I? You know, why would I? Do what I do if I wasn't comfortable. You know nah, it's you. Saying? You gotta own who you are, yeah. right? Yeah. That's real. Exactly. Um I, I, I wanted to talk about, you know, since because you are, you know, what I mean, a black woman, right? Mm-hmm. It's Black History Month. Um, and, and and I like to I like to promote us taking better care of black women, right? Um mm-hmm. I don't know if you heard about this story that happened in C T. It was uh, this young girl. She's like 23 years old, not too much older than you. Mm -hmm. She went on a Bumble date with some 37-year-old Saxon. Wow. Mm. Right? Her name. I want to make sure I got her name right. Lauren Smith Fields. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, She went on a date with some 37-year-old. I don't even understand why that made sense. That's neither here nor there. Internet. She got found in her apartment dead. Mm -hmm. Not once did... You know, the cops question, you know what I mean, this dude's involvement or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. I hate the story. I hate the way that there's so many fucking holes in it Yeah. because it just makes us look crazy because now we're we're crying wolf now. Right. Yeah. Because we want to blame. We want to put the blame on somebody. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's how the, you know, the outside looks at it. Yeah. Um, For one, what did you feel about that situation? That's straight bullshit. In what for, sense? For the fact that, you know, that it's not even on the platform that it should be that, you know what I'm saying, people aren't looking into it as much as it should be or, you know, it's not as seriously taken as other cases mm. involving, you know what I'm saying, Caucasian mm. women. Saxons? Mm. Right. Saxons. <laughs> Saxons. I feel like, yeah, that entire story to me is just like, it's a shame the fact, the fact that, you know, People can't come together to raise awareness for shit like this right. when other stories get put on the highest platforms. You know right. what I'm saying? I honestly think that shit doesn't add up. None of the, you know, reports. Cause I've been I be reading up on the blogs and shit too. Mm. So it's like, yeah, I was aware of the situation. It didn't make sense to me and I don't like the fact that it's just going unnoticed mm. by like a lot of the media. Yeah, they said he's connected with, you know, law enforcement. He has a lot of money. So that's that's an advantage. Yeah. Damn. Being white in America is like the illest cheat code. Every time. On dead dogs. Yeah, yeah, bro. (laughs) It's like every time anytime you're in a panic. (laughs) Oh shit, I'm white. No bullshit. It's gonna be fine. (laughs) Um can't relate. But either way, Lauren, um, R. I. P. Lauren, uh, much love to her family. We really hope that we find clarity with something like this. Um, cops is over here trying to talk about like, yo, dude seemed like a nice guy. Wow. That's she what needs said. justice. He, he wow. seemed like a nice guy. Um, wow. There was no. They, so that happened like I want to I want to say like the 11th or 12th of December. Mm-hmm. January 27th is when they finally opened up an investigation on the case. So you know what that means. They dragging their feet. They, they don't want to go yeah, nowhere. They, Ladies, trying to look into it. they don't want to go women, nowhere with it. Please stop meeting niggas on the internet. Right. Um, yeah, I don't think... Y- y'all should just meet niggas in live person. That way you could connect the dots. He probably went to an ATM. Probably passed in front of a camera. But you meet niggas on the internet. They probably have a plan. They strategize for it. Like, yo, just stop meeting niggas on the internet. That shit is just scary, bro. Yeah. yeah. Scary. Especially black ones. Yo, Saxon women, that's how y'all do. Yeah, swipe right. You know, we, we, uh, we you know, look, I do believe those foul play there. I don't want to say that for a fact that he had something to do with it. But when the, when the fucking, you know what I mean? When everything's pointing towards the nigga. We got to talk about it. So um, protect black women. Right, absolutely. Protect all, all the women, fucking time. Man. Protect yeah. all women, but yeah, but in, in, who are we? No, no, right? I, under, yeah. I understand. This is this is this is different, Cash. Society protects white women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, off yeah. the rip. 
Yeah, if yeah. this was a white woman that this happened to, my nigga, we would have known what the fuck happened here. Exactly. Nah, for sure. So we as a community, my nigga, we have to put our best foot forward to protect black women. And that's yeah, what I mean nah. by that. Nah, like, I get it. You know what I mean, we got to protect our own, my nigga, because these niggas ain't for us, bro. It's a hundred nah, season on black people, bro. bro. Mm-hmm. Always. It's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like um, we all under attack, nigga. To what point, nigga, we going to, what, nigga, what, mom, back? You see, but that that's why Start snatching up some white kid. <laughs> but that's but that's why I always felt we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Right? We're not gonna do that. I live very close to Newton. Um, <laughs> uh <laughs> they're gonna buy Charlie, where have you been? <laughs> like, nah, 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 I'm straight, <laughs> nigga. Um <laughs> which is why. When I hear about stories like this, it brings my mind to me growing up. My father used to put paws on my mom's, yo. Like, domestic violence is something that I fucking hate. We don't know situations of road. Like, I, when, when I was a kid, I used to always say, like, yo, that's grown folks business, right? I used to mm-hmm. say that to myself to, like, make me believe it, right? Because that was very early in my life. But then when I realized that that's what actually happened, I just kept telling myself, that's grown folks business. That's grown folks business. But as you get older and you're in situations, you're with somebody long term and you're like, OK, this shit's getting heated. The best thing to do is walk away. Mm-hmm. Right. Because mm-hmm. you never know how crazy left this shit could go. Yeah. Right. Um, but. With you, I heard that you mentioned something about um, domestic violence. Absolutely. Yeah. I did. Um. I don't know the full story on that. Is that something that you'd like to share with us? Um, well, first, but I'm sorry to cut in, but before you share, I do want to just as a woman yeah. first acknowledge your courage to share something mm. so personal Thank and you. be transparent Absolutely. because it's very relatable yeah. and it's 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 loud in our society right now. It's so crazy. I just want to acknowledge that you even share yeah. something like that. Um, something that a lot of people don't know is that. One of my best songs came from a very traumatic experience. Wish Me Well came mm. from a, an abusive relationship. That was like, I was a victim of DV before. And it was, a, it was a hard experience because, you know, as a woman being in a relationship, sometimes it is blinding. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You, do, you do stupid shit. You go back, whatever shit happens. And... Um, I'm just glad I walked away at the right time, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I learned from it, you know what I'm saying? I met people who changed my life. Met people that, you know what I'm saying, wouldn't Put let that nigga a on single a soul. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Put them in a pack. Not even not even just my team, even though, you know what I'm saying, like not even they're just a, even though they're a huge role in my life. It was like, you know, it took me actually falling in love with a whole nother person for me to actually get up and be like, fuck this shit. You know side nigga saying? got promoted. No. no. <laughs> Shout out to the side nigga. No, it wasn't even a side nigga. It was nothing. It was just unexpected. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm grateful for that person to this day. You know what I'm saying? Because kind of opened up my eyes to be like, yeah. Niggas is bitch. I shouldn't be here. Right. You know what I'm saying? You still dealing with that guy? I'm chilling right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. But shout out to shout out to gang. What are like the signs from your personal experience that you could just share? Like what are the signs that you didn't see but you saw after you got out of the situation? Uh a lot of gaslighting. Mm-hmm. That was mm. like that was like my main thing. A lot of hypocrisy. Mm. Like don't gaslight. I don't like that shit. Don't do that shit to me. Cause that's what really gets me mad. Like not for nothing. If you do something to me, I'm a Sag once again, why the fuck would you get mad at me if I go do the same shit to you? So it's like, it would be like a certain situation where a nigga would do some shit to me and I'll go do some shit back. And then the outcome right. would just be worse. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. then it's like, <laughs> Sag terrorist. And then, yeah, like, shit happens and thank god like i said i'm so young so i'd be learning shit mad fast i'd be like i ain't going back that way because that was that was just crazy you know what i'm saying like i wouldn't do that i ain't doing that shit again niggas is 
everything about a nigga is a red flag. No disrespect. <laughs> that's crazy. That's, that's, that's a hot take. Niggas. Wow. You want to ask me what's a red flag? Niggas. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> niggas. Just niggas. niggas. All niggas. niggas. Breathing niggas. Niggas. Niggas with air in their lungs. Niggas. Dead niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this thing. This nigga. I'm done. But um, I'm done. Hey, your your, your growth is crazy. Like talking to you right now, opposed to episode forty five. Yeah, you're a whole different person. Thank you. You 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 grew up like you was nineteen then. Yes. Wow. That um, was like like right before I turned twenty. Drink on right. It was now. just before. <laughs> right. No, right. Right. I was gonna say that. Like. Should I- like I was, I remember when she was when, when she was at details with us, and I'm like, "Yo, nigga, like, don't don't put no fucking drinks in front of Shay on camera." Nigga, cause, cause I don't water, want it, nigga. I mean, you know like, what's crazy? Yeah. I turned 21, right? And I was ready for it. I'm like, "Yeah, nigga, I'm gonna go to the bar, I'm gonna go to the club, nigga, pull on my ID, bow, nigga, take this shit." Yeah. I'm 21. Never be bow. that way. They don't even ask me for my <laughs> shit, bro. No. They don't even ask me but for my ID no somebody. more. They be like. The niggas don't know that yet. So, <laughs> I'll she be got at her a- shit on one of them like lighter shit. <laughs> Ready to give it up. Like, oh, I take that shit. Look at it. I got it. Extend, though. <laughs> what? Like, I'll be, shit on the chain, I'll man. be at like the most, like, I'll be at a, at a bar, like, out of town, out of town, out of town. And I'll just be like, all right, cool. Chilling with my friends. Bob. They'll be like, what you want? I ordered my drink. They'd be like, okay. I'm like, what? What do you mean? Okay. Then, ID <laughs> me. It. Come back, nigga. Get I in might fa- be under Like, age. getting shit like Fontos and shit. I was never worried about that. I really just wanted to really just slap my shit on the bar table. Like, bow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hear that. I hear that. It was so upsetting when they didn't ID me. I'm like, I feel some type of way. You I felt disrespected that you didn't get ID? <laughs> Is that That's bad? That's funny as shit. That's a bad thing. No, I felt that way when I when I when like I feel like I waited yeah, to turn twenty one all my life for this specific reason. It's it. like they're like, nah, we don't care. Like, but then as you get older, you age. Like I find when they like when I get ID now, it's like, are you serious? Yeah, nah, you gonna ID me? Nah, I'd be upset. <laughs> like, you know, it's now. crazy. I was doing that. I was doing that when I was nineteen and twenty because when I went and got my face tatted and um, I was trying to get like you know rollies and shit. Mm. ID me for rollies. I would be like. What? <laughs> I'd be like, well, how old you think I am, bro? I got a I face tattoo. You, right? <laughs> I said, yeah, I got my face tattooed. I said, I said, now who you think that's under 21 gonna get a whole little tattoo on their face? Like, right. that's crazy. They was like, that's the valid. Project, Give me the phone. T- <laughs> really like, you got a point. I really okay, do think sense. about you niggas with face tattoos a lot, but you niggas really don't think about a lot. <laughs> yeah, I just like, fuck it, nigga. I'm I wanna get like, another one. Damn, Shay, don't go what? crazy. I'm not gonna go crazy, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> don't get the don't get the the, the 21 Savage cross, my nigga. Ooh. Like, that's different. Freak watcher. And, uh, yeah. Oh shit. Freak Superman. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't get the cross, but you know, I would still get my face tatted again. Like probably, you know, somewhere like a right little in here. Yeah. That'd be cute. You know, I'm not. Yeah, I wouldn't nice. force it like Summer Walker. But, oh yeah, but she went know, him. She yeah, went him. She did. Yeah. She, people, she really owned that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, she did. She went all the way I'm in with done. that. With the hairstyle of the nigga named Tat. Not the hairstyle. Uh, I'm no, sorry. Not, I mean, yeah, she, you know, she kind of went. She blocked with. She blocked with everything. See, listen. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, I love Summer Walker. I, I love swear her to God, too. she's one of the greatest artists that I've. You know what I'm saying? Like jump on. Ever, bro. Ever she that I tap, I do. Oh. She got an angelic, beautiful voice. Her runs and riffs. She could. She's multi talented. She could play multiple instruments. She's beautiful. Yes. you know what I'm saying. Her but story is crazy. She just has a different aesthetic, mm-hmm. and you know, a different approach. And it's a little bit to take in sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, where'd you go to high school, y'all? Brighton High. Went to Brighton. <laughs> Brighton High. I went to a couple different schools. I went yeah. to Brighton. I went to Charlestown and Snowden. Did you graduate? Technically. I mean, no. The only reason why I'm asking is because I got know, I got my GED. I don't give a fuck about telling you. No, 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 I didn't graduate. A, I dropped out of public school. The only reason why I, f- I ask that question is because I, I, I feel FACs? like now nah, I feel like you're a chame- <laughs> you're a chameleon. Like I feel like you're a chameleon. Like you Queen can code switch. You can really. You know, morph into any room, mm-hmm. right? And, and I've noticed, I've noticed that about you early on. 
um, just seeing how you interact with people. Mm-hmm. And I and I, and I and I think that that's a skill that not everybody from the hood is, like a, attains. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, a lot of niggas they get stuck in the hood because of how they choose to carry themselves. Yeah. Right. Um. And I and I think because of who you are. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's a part of you, right? And yeah. I think that's just fire. I feel like that has to be a characteristic of me because at the end, at the same time, I am the only girl, yeah. right? You know, so it's like I can't act like I'm a nigga twenty four seven, you right. know. And not even that, just being around different energy because of my fan base. I've performed in so many different places and I met so many different people, shapes, sizes, different colors. It's like I know how to adapt to anywhere. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like I can make anybody fuck with me. That's fire. Uh-huh. We, we 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 have been talking for a minute though. Wow! And break um, like a dying one. <laughs> who, who, what else y'all got? Because you, I know you got balls for us, right? Oh, I'm ready for that. I know you got balls for us because something for us. You 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 mean you went crazy last time? Mm-hmm. You know it's funny that same beat that you went in on. Mm-hmm. Somebody else from the city made a whole song to that beat. That's right? crazy. Yeah, and, and your freestyle was better than their song. That was just some random shit. Why'd you why'd you make people have to go research that? It's okay. <laughs> that was some random shit too. Okay. It was like, Ooh, okay, put that on. I yeah, know exactly. What it's all right. Yeah. It's okay. You know, doesn't mean that I hate. I dislike the other song. I just yeah. think your freestyle was better than the song. And that says a I lot. I appreciate it. You know what I mean, thank you. Um, <laughs> Anything y'all want to end off with, man, before we bring us in for a landing? I thought this was fire. Did you have fun? Nah, I, I did. Man, yeah? This was great. Yeah. It was good, this man. It was great. I've been wanting this, like, I, I'm going I'm to share with you for my birthday. My birthday fell on a Thursday. Mm. And I'm like, for my birthday, we got to have shade bands. And so we could right. And I was so mad. And then the nigga got COVID. Right. Yeah. That was your boy. I was I was low-key mad, but then I was like, fuck. All right, whatever. It's it my fault that I got COVID? Yes. <laughs> you yeah. was mad at who? You should have stayed in. I was mad at the fact that I was mad at COVID, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I was this... at work like, ah <laughs> 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 yeah. This is amazing. I've been waiting for this moment. This was a dope interview. Yeah, no. I think I'm you're like the second woman here. that I've I've interviewed. So really? that's it. No, I think so. Necessary. Nah, I'm yeah. definitely you know happy to be here. I'm proud to be you know one of the hottest female artists in the city. I try wow. to say that as humbly as I can because I don't want people feeling like I say that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just to say that shit when I really like. I really yeah. mean it. Like, you know what Whoa, I'm saying? Who, I re- I'm passionate about it. You like, have to. You got to be your own biggest fan. Like, but, I, re- what? This is my life. Like, but who mm-hmm. would you say is the hottest female in the city? Me? Right. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be you? Diamond child. Right? right? You're the diamond child. Uh, <laughs> really? No bullshit. Did it, did it. So, <laughs> before, 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 before we, we finish it, I didn't mention, you know, we didn't mention Big G Bands. Just because we understand that that was the teaser, right? mm-hmm. yeah. That w- you you gave niggas a little, little mm. you know, hey, you mm. take that, like free size sheet. Like take you know that. how like uh-huh. when you wash your hands, you got a little water on your hands. Yeah, mm-hmm. a little you sprinkle. Do that in somebody's yeah. face. That's, when you when you trying to throw it on the oil, make sure the oil hot. You know what I'm saying? I do that shit to my daughter all the time. <clears throat> I'm done. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> That's what that was to me. Yeah, yeah. it was good. That's yeah. what it was. It was, it was tasteful. Mm. It ended but so fast. It just wasn't I was enough. Like, Damn. Right. But I understand. That's the point. But I understand. So you're dropping on Valentine's Day. Yes. I'm dropping a video on Valentine's yeah. Day. So Roses is dropping 214. Roses. Oh, you were scandalous on that one. <laughs> wow, behave. Yeah. It's not about love, neither, nigga. It's definitely wow. not about it's love. It's anti, bro. She demon. Behave. Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grown. That's that's yeah, what it is. I'm grown. Right I love it. You, you I don't want to write, Shay. I don't want to write. Not even I'm grown. I'm I'm really <laughs> I'm really the master of all trades. When it comes to music, I could do whatever. So it's like I wanted to bring out something different. Y'all seen Big G Benz. Y'all seen Drill Shay. Y'all seen Chill Shay. Y'all seen fucking Party Shay. Y'all seen fucking Trap Shay. Y'all ain't see pretty sexy grown Shay yet. Mm. So it's yeah. like that's fair. It's, it's 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 only right, you know what I'm saying? Make and it then... stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. It's like at the at first it was like a little bit weird because you know only girl, and I'm just like ah. Oh, it's shit. just like but... I look at you as like low sis, like right. So when I see it, I'm everybody like, do. So then I'm now I'm like yo, she's growing up. 
Mm-hmm. You start seeing me posing. I'd be liking a lot of her pictures, like, but I skip right through it. I mean, I, I like it. Bro. I would just go. I mean, I guess I like it. Right I, I, I got to show her love that I like it, but I'm like, skip right I li- there. I like I'm pretty it. Sure all my brothers, yeah. that's, I'm pretty sure all my brothers yeah. do that. They'd be like, this little girl. I like, I like it in theory. Yeah, I like it. Mean, but I, yeah, I, I like is, the idea of social media that I have to like this button. This is the like the little the, daring I mean, side. The, there was a dislike button. I obviously wouldn't hit that. Like, Shay, how dare you? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, like even me, I was nervous. It was a little bit out of my comfort zone, like yeah. even just like you know, shooting a video and laundry and all that yeah. crazy shit. But I was just like, you did good though. You did yeah, good. I was definitely proud of myself. I could see myself, you know, doing things of that nature again, right. possibly in the future. Right. Um, but that's actually going to be leading up to my mixtape. So Roses, yes. the video is yes. going to be just a little, you know, Teaser. a little, yeah, get a little splash real Terrorist. quick. Splash. Female pain music is, is going to be different. It's, it's going to be different. Mm-hmm. So. Female we pain music. So it's yeah. like, been we in for so 20, came wow. up, no bullshit. Been in there for 25,000 years. Yeah. We came up with female pain music, <laughs> like even the title, because it's like, you know, um, we're in a generation where a lot of niggas listen to pain music. We got artists like Lil Durk, we got Tusi, we got Raw mm. Wave, we got Kodak, we got fucking even Lil Baby, we got all types of niggas. All types of niggas, bro, making pain music. So it's like Very true. what female have you ever seen make the same thing, the same exact thing that a that a that a nigga do, bro? And you ain't even and making pain, pain music killers. about <laughs> about growing up from being from the streets, you know what I'm saying? Being in the trenches, going through struggles, suffering, pain, trauma. It's gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of it's gonna be different. It's gonna be a little more treacherous than a diamond child, I would say. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Excited. Like, but it's the perfect approach to who I am. Yeah. It gets it gets every aspect of my persona. It gets a little taste of okay, you see why she, you see why she's gangster. You know what I'm saying? You can hear the pain in her voice. You could you could understand why she's making this type of music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to hit people hard with this one. So stay when's tuned. When's that dropping? We got that shit dropping in March. So stay March. tuned. Okay. March what? The March 12th? March okay. question mark. March, March 7th? She's question, question mark. mark. Damn. Let it go, Kat. Exclamation go. point, dollar sign, dollar sign. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> pressing her. <laughs> I was just checking numbers on roulette tables. There's only, there's only so many numbers. Shea Bands. <laughs> probably one of them. Shea Bands, a diamond child. Big G Bands. Yes, sir. Sagittarius. Me herself. <laughs> this was fun. Yeah. It was. I, I had a lot Absolutely of fun doing this. It. Even though we fucked up at the beginning. Oh, no. man. Um, Did y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, no. play his fuck up, too. No. It's okay. No, play his fuck up. It's all right. He fucked exactly. up. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'll take he, that. Right. He tells when everybody when thing, I fucked right. up. When it's a him no, thing, no, it's we. Y'all niggas, yeah. I mean, y'all, yeah. y'all. Yeah. They 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 be waiting. The they yeah. be waiting for the moment to put me under, I mean, sweep a nigga under the bus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I gave you that. <laughs> and it comes back to me. But anyway, um... This is CWTFB Radio, episode 110, Sagittarius with the Diamond Child. She is. Multi-talented. Did it. 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 Come on. Say, come on. Y'all got it. You know we got that down packed, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, I could give you a couple more classes. Did it. Did it. No, that's not good. That's not good. Did it. I did better than no one. Y'all sound. I don't know why y'all sound like y'all forcing it. Like y'all about to throw up when y'all. Is it like like is it like a Nicki Minaj? You got to let it roll like a. You like sound like did you it, bought did to it. throw up. We all up. say it. Like, I, don't know, it's, I guess it's a shooter's thing. We bought, right. the, we bought a, to throw up when we say it, Cass. We're going to throw the fuck up when we say it, Cass. We're going to throw the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> that's what she said. She said sound you like, sound like you bought to throw up. Yeah. I'm not going through this training. I'm not going through this training right now. Yo, we love y'all, man. Until next week, man. We're going to get into these balls, man. Red Cups and Rap. Let's go, baby. Gang, 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 gang.